Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Right now we've got the number two Dayton Flyers traveling to take on the 10th ranked Rice Owls and their elite triple option attack led, led by quarterback Matt Howell. The guy was a monster last season. He was really good against one of our schools. I cannot remember who we faced. Um, who faced them. I think it might have been North Dakota State, but he absolutely dominated that game and just ran all over that poor defense of the Bison, I believe. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it was them. There he is, Redshirt Jr., Matt Howell. Almost 2,000 passing yards last season, 16 touchdowns, only two picks, and he had 1,283 yards on the ground, 12 touchdowns. The guy is a beast. I'm looking forward to seeing him in the EFL. Hopefully he doesn't declare for the draft this season because then we will not see him in the EFL. But let's get into this ball game, folks. And they're going to start out with the option right away. And Howell picks up nine yards on this nasty defense. Third, or second down in inches. And they give it off to the fullback. St. Drew gets the first down up to the 40-yard line. And they're going to go option right side. Howell is going to pitch it out. Moore has it. And he's a yard shy of the first down. Orlandi on the tackle. And they're going to get... Foster for the face mask, so the Owls get the first down. Now second and six. Howell, nice fake pitch in the open field down to the 27-yard line. Great run, ball hawk. Tackling him there at the end. That was the freshman safety, and St. Prue picks up another first down. And this defense is top 10 in the country, and here's a huge hit, and Moore finds the end zone. What a pitch from Matt Howell, 14-yard touchdown run. Well, this defense is top 10, and they made, got made to look silly on that drive. Here is the freshman fullback, George, getting a nice carry up the middle for the first down. Flyers trying to answer right back. Smash Jackson up the gut, jukes, and is tracked down after a 13-yard carry. Third down and nine. Martin dropping back to throw over the middle, and it's caught by Skaggs for the first down. That's his first catch of the season. That's the number two tight end on the depth chart. Noah John's in at quarterback now. Rolling way out to the left side, throws it up. He's got Jenkins inside the 10-yard line. John's coming into the game with one touchdown, no picks on the season. He is the starter at, at the no halfback formation in the shotgun. Five wide receivers set. Here is Martin trying to throw it, finds Green, picks up seven yards on the reception. That is his third uh, catch of the season, 63 yards. Martin to throw, left side, wide open is the fullback, and he finds the end zone. A big fullback tying things up here in the first half. And a nice little dive there to get in and pass the pylon. Jared Martin, his second touchdown pass of the season, 29th of his career. Carter set to kick it off, and that goes to the 10-yard line. Very short kick. And McGrew is going to return this right side. Gets past the first wave. McGrew might go. Thomas finally drags him down at the 42-yard line. Great return. Final play of the first quarter. Powell gets destroyed. And Williams finds a way to pick up seven or eight yards as John Gruden gets run over on the sideline. St. Prue, nice carry here. Great spin move. He gets wrecked. Oh, my goodness. That'll end the first quarter. Third down and two now. And Howell is dragged down. I believe that is Barnes on the tackle. That's a non-subscriber linebacker. That'll bring up fourth down and four. And the Owls are going to leave their offense on the field. Williams, direct snap goes nowhere. DB Slocum on the tackle for a loss. That ends that drive. That is Slocum's ninth tackle for a loss this season. Martin goes play action. Right side wide open is the fullback again. George past the 40. Inside the 40-yard line of Rice. Martin to throw it again. Nice pump fake. Deep shot to the end zone. That's Trent Green, and he finds him for the score. And the Flyers take the lead back down a 37-yard bomb. Jared Martin with his 30th touchdown, er, touchdown pass. Oh, my goodness, I can't talk today. 30 touchdown passes for him in his career. Goodness gracious. Matt Howell, nice option. He fumbles the football, though. That is recovered by Ballhawk. That's the five-star freshman free safety getting his first career fumble recovery. And that was Rob Orlandi who got in the way of the pitch. And he won't get credit for that forced fumble, but that's all right. Jared Martin's going to fumble the football here. Recovered by Fenton. And Fenton is going to go all the way. Bobo, the clown, can't catch him. 
And that's an easy scoop and score for the left end. His second sack of the ball game, too, as well. Sonny Six gets a carry here. Freshman making a name for himself already this season, just a few games in. And Jackson, another carry. Left side, he's got the first down. This is a very dangerous one-two punch at halfback. Noah Johns in at quarterback again. He's going to throw it up, and it's caught by Jackson at the 40-yard line. And that pass right there gets Noah Johns over 100 yards for his career as Jared Martin gets sacked for the third time today. It's now second and 26 after a holding call. Dorian Wura is in at quarterback, and he's rolling around trying to evade the defenders. Throws it up finally, and he's got Jackson inside the 25-yard line. Great patience from Dorian Wura. Martin on the option, pitches out to Sonny Six, and he'll pick up nine yards. 290 yards rushing on the season so far for the freshman. And he's going to get another carry right up the middle, all the way inside the five to the three-yard line. Great run. He's averaging nine yards per carry today. After another holding call, though, Sonny Six, great stiff arm, and he finds pay dirt. And they take the lead back. His fifth touchdown run of the season. And that was a beautiful stiff arm right there. Second down and 10 for the Owls as they look to answer right pass, or pass to the right. My goodness, I still can't talk. Williams will get a first down. Great stiff arm. Gloves Malone takes him down. There's a roughing the passer penalty. And that is on Williams, a non-subscriber player. First down for the Owls. Howell pitches it out. They fumble it again. It's recovered by Tank Taylor. Oh, my goodness. Tank Taylor with three. Count them. Three fumble recoveries this season. And that's his fourth of his career. He's just in the right place at the right time this season, it seems. And I'm loving it. I'm loving his production so far. Sunny Six, great carry, great juke. Inside the 40, the 30. Sunny Six to the house. Touchdown Flyers. 58-yard touchdown run for Sunny Six. That is his sixth touchdown rush of the year. What a move he put on that safety. And then he just outruns everybody using that track speed. 28-14 is the score. Less than a minute remains here in the second. And Orlandi uh, takes down Howell, but he pitches out to Ward, and he'll pick up the first down. Great effort here for the halfback. 45 seconds left. Howell going to try to throw it right side. Scott Smith, the tight end for the first down. 13-yard pickup. Howell's going to keep throwing it. And throws off his back foot, and it's caught by Smith. And they're giving Chase finally tracked down. He fumbles the football. Orlandi scoops it up. He's still going up to the 27-yard line. Dirt Davis forced the fumble. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's his first career forced fumble. And the Flyers have 28 seconds. They're at the 42-yard line. Dorian Wurr, great stiff arm, takes off and almost has first down. Oh, he does have it. I thought he stepped out before it. Martin to throw. He's going to take a shot to the end zone. Deflected. No, it's caught. Omari Manuel. How did that pass get to the receiver? Oh my, what a throw from Jared Martin, his third touchdown of the ball game. What a toss. I thought for sure that was deflected. Wow, 35-14. Dayton has a commanding lead here and Howell is gonna be sacked. This defense is swarming all over this quarterback. They have a 21 point lead as we head into the third quarter. Smash Jackson, carry left side. And that was after another holding penalty. There's a lot of holding penalties here today. Third down and four. And Jackson will get the first down. About a six yard carry. He's got 45 yards today. Martin to throw, great pump fake. He's pressured and sacked though. Immediate pressure off the right side. And that's gonna bring up second down and 19. They're gonna keep it on the ground. Smash Jackson is gonna pick up most of that yardage back. Making the third down and nine. High formation set. They're going to go option, and they pitch it out to Jackson, who loses uh, most of those yards back again as a loss of six, and the Flyers punt it away. Can the option-based offense come back from 21 down in the third quarter? Let's see. There's 2.30 remaining here in the third. Williams, direct snap. He's in the open field. He might go. Gloves Malone can't get him. Touchdown, Owls. What a run. My goodness. Dorian Wurra in at quarterback now for the Flyers. Wide open right side is Jenkins past the 40-yard line. Dayton is controlling this clock here today, keeping that Rice offense off the field. 
Martin on the option. He'll keep it himself. He'll pick up seven yards. He's not really known for running the football. He does have a touchdown run this season, but he's sacked again off the right side. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Get your fours up, folks. This is a heck of a game right now. Martin to throw. Right side. He's got Trent Green. Breaks a couple tackles. Still going. Has the first down. But it doesn't matter. There's another holding call. So that'll make it third down and 17 for Dayton. As they look to get a huge win over top 10. Rice, and here's another completion out to Trent Green at midfield. He doesn't pick up the first down, but what an effort. As he gets them to fourth down and one. Flyers are going to go for it here. They go option. They don't pitch it out. That play was snuffed out from the start. Great play by the Rice defense. And they are back in business, folks. Second down and nine. Howell under center. They're going option left side. And Orlando with a huge hit on the quarterback. St. Prue gets a couple out of that one. But what a hit from Orlandi. Most of these, all these three linebackers, the two freshmen and Rob Orlandi, the sophomore, are just nasty players. And here is a broken tackle from Williams. Just runs the man smooth over and gets taken down by Ballhawk inside the 30-yard line. Third down and eight, now shotgun set. Powell, play action, and he's gonna be sacked. Dirt Davis just gave him a rock bottom, and he hurts himself in the process. Well, that is Dirt Davis' second career sack. That'll bring up fourth down and 10. Howell's gonna have to throw it here. Rolling around, still rolling. Pressure, and he's sacked and fumbles the football. It's recovered by Rice, but another strip sack here, and that's Big Tank Taylor. His first forced fumble of his career and Howell just he had all day to throw it he just didn't pull the trigger now Dayton just has to run this clock out folks three minutes left they're up two touchdowns Smash Jackson gets a carry right up the gut huge lane all the way to the 45 yard line of Wrights they're down in three I formation set and they'll hand it off to the big halfback again Smash Jackson gets the first down and more inside the 25 yard line and he needs one more yard here for 100 today. Dirt Davis is out for three weeks. That's a big loss. We'll see a non-subscriber linebacker out there. And here's George picking up eight yards. Big fullback getting a nice carry. Second down and two. Smash Jackson. Carry left side. Carrying a defender all the way to the five-yard line. 110 yards today on 14 carries. First and goal. Dirt Davis, player of the game. Three-fourths fumbles. Oh, my goodness. It's zero coming into the game. And run the clock out as much as possible. George only gets a couple yards here. Rice calls a timeout, but they are going to hand it off to Sonny Six, who gets to the outside for another score. His third today and his seventh on the season. And the freshman making a huge impact so far this season. That is the final score, 42-21. Big, big win here for the number two ranked Dayton Flyers. This was an away game, and I mean, the, the experts in the Discord Pick'em predicted this to happen, but against these FBS schools, you really can't tell sometimes. But here are the players that predicted it correctly. Savage A, Jay Balmer, Chris Numa, Jarmel Lewis, Wooly Madden, Jack Brown, Jason Stark, Jada Streets. Man, oh my goodness, less than 300 yards of offense for Rice today, over 400 for Dayton. Great performance from them. Let's get back to the players. Noah Regeer, Zoomer Speed, Tyler Chandler, Robbie Ballard, Noah Johns, Owen Black, Joseph Lozano, Emmanuel Wise, Alexander Connor, Bryson Shields, Nick Hall, Jay Washington, and Wyatt Geddes. All selected Dayton to win in the Discord pick them. 28 points in the second quarter from Dayton. They really poured it on in that quarter and just dominated. 102 yards rushing for, I believe that was Williams, with a touchdown. Matt Howell didn't do a whole lot of anything here today. So the Dayton Flyer defense did a fantastic job uh, holding the impact player in control for, for the whole game. Jared Martin sacked five times today. Noah Johns was sacked once. The offensive line is a little suspect here for the Flyers this season. But the ground game is still working. Three touchdowns for Sonny Six. 119 yards, 110 for Smash Jackson. Georgia at 26. And Dorian Wera with eight yards on the ground today. Two 20-plus yard runs. Five broken tackles for Jackson. And 
Jared. One fumble here for Jared Martin. That's his third of his career. Trent Green with a touchdown. And Amari Manuel with a touchdown. Green now with five for his career. Manuel with eight. Both of those touchdowns are the first of this season for both of those players. Skaggs had a catch today, his first of the season. Dirk Davis, that's a big loss for him. Three weeks he'll be gone, but he absolutely dominated this game. D.B. Slocum has been a monster so far for this Flyer defense as well. He's got 15 tackles on the season. Dirk Davis with 19. And Davis also has eight for a loss. Slocum has a bunch for a loss. I mean, those two linebackers are nasty. Three force fumbles for Dirk Davis. One for Tank Taylor. Taylor recovered one. Ballhawk recovered one. Rob Orlandi recovered one. His second career fumble recovery. Man, I, I'm really loving this defense. They are really good. It's going to be hard for any of these other schools in this dynasty to really compete with them once Dayton gets into some subscriber games, if they even have any. I do believe they have at least one. I tried to make everybody have one for this season. 76, their Davis Tank Taylor players of the game. And the Dayton Flyers' next football game, they will be traveling to take on the Southern Illinois Salukis. And that starts off their Big Ten play. And Dayton does not have any subscriber teams on their schedule. So they might have an easy path to a January bowl game, maybe even a national championship game. Our final game of the week, Jacksonville travels to Yale. I'll see you guys that one tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Until then, take it easy.